My Kenmore washing machine stopped fully draining during the spin cycle. I put a help video up, which I will link at the end of this video, also in the text below. Some kind viewers sent me to Repair Clinic and a few videos. Those are also in the text below the video. Kim Townsley here. This is going to show you the true experience of the disassembly and attempt to repair my Kenmore washer. I was broke. I couldn't afford a service call. I couldn't afford a new washing machine. So this is my attempt to repair or at least investigate on my own. Warning, I'm a novice. I have no knowledge about appliance repair. I have no skills in appliance repair and I'm lacking the proper tools. Feel free to mock me. My reason for sharing this video is to show people in my situation the real experience of trying to investigate and or make this repair. I guess it's less of a how-to and more of a what happened type video. I found the warranty book because I'm one of those that keeps files for warranties and things like that. I've never had any trouble with this washer, so I've never even opened the book. I think I had to have one service call on it when it was under a warranty and he came out and fixed the problem. Which was actually a problem with my toilet, which was in a nearby bathroom, not the dryer. Put through here. And see what's what. I'll report back. Leaking under troubleshooting, my problem seems to be the washer won't drain. And it, the drain hose is not clogged. And it's not more than 96 inches above the floor. And the lid was closed, of course. And there wasn't ex excessive suds sudsing. I do have to use extra detergent because I have really hard water. And neither of these problems seem to be the issue as either. Okay, I'm gonna tackle this washing machine, see if I can get it fixed. I moved everything out of here, or most of it, so that I can pull this off according to directions. I have towels back here to collect the water. I have a screwdriver. I've got containers for water that I'm gonna put in there to collect water that comes out. And this is the stuff I had to move out of the laundry room. Let's get to it. Pop off. Done. I don't want to break it. Let me go get a petty knife. These did not pop off like they did in the how to video period. I ended up breaking a small piece off of the front one. I didn't have a petty knife, or at least I couldn't find one, to slide underneath it, and it didn't even need to have that done. They're supposed to just pop off. And I ended up slicing my finger with a yeah, dinner knife. Blood. Fun times. Coming off now. Who cuts himself with a dinner knife? Stop the bleeding before I can do anything else. Yeah, this did not come off as easy as it looked in the video. This one ended up breaking, but there is the screw.
They're pretty long. I'm gonna tilt this back. There's something in there that I'm going to have to get undone. There is a clip under there that I'm supposed to be able to slide and pop in, but it didn't work until I came in behind it. So, so far, can see it. There's a metal clip right there, a little plastic clip there. I'm supposed to be able to push it and raise it. Yeah, all right. just as easy as it says on the video. That would be sarcasm. None of that worked. None of that worked like it said on the video. Just watch the video again while I had a cup of coffee and let's just pretend like I unplugged the washing machine before I started doing this and took the controls out. I did get a piece of tape and write cold on it which I'm going to put on the cold um, connector so that I saw future problems. Well, as I was turning the water off, the hot water started leaking a little bit, and I see that they already have hot written on it. I did not know that. Now my cold one has a cold indicator. Yay, something easy. Part. Interesting. Towels. Something to catch water. Forever gloves to dig this problem out. I'm going in. Okay, it's pretty dark back here, but I need to take this off. And I was trying to do it before with 
just my hands, so I'm going to do something different this time. I don't have the exact tools to do this with. I don't think I've got what I need. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's see if this will work. Sudsy water. Need some towels. I had thought the pump was at the back of the washing machine, but it's at the front. And so because of my space limitations, I'm gonna have to crawl in here like I'm in a cave to work on this pump. I put some towels up underneath here because I know there's going to be water coming out and also for my comfort. I'm going to put a plastic container in there and rubber gloves in case I have to dig this out. I may be able to get to it without having to crawl up in there. Let's try that. This is supposed to be able to pop out, I believe. Let's just see what happens here. There's no water. supposed to be in there? Probably. Maybe a bad pump. Uh, let's see, there's a wire from the bra. Shouldn't be in there. Don't see anything else in that one. A lot of mineral deposits. I should probably run vinegar through my washing machine. I could do my coffee pot. I don't really 
they see socks and things stuck down in there like people say. That seems to be the part that turns it around. Mm. Was it? Could it have been this wire bra? It was stuck inside of here and keeping it from turning? Crazy. I don't really see a problem with the pump, so I'm just going to clean it off a little bit here and put it back together. Test a very small load to see if it will drain. I hope I can remember where that goes. doesn't work I'll have to do all this again to I guess I'm gonna put these back on first I'll have to do all this again when you pump on that is tight read comments where people found money and all kinds of stuff. Oh, all I found was a Victoria's Secret bra wire. Feel a little cheated. Oh, it seems like it needs to go on more. go down a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to. It's got notches on it. And then it's just a little bit wider. see a problem with the pump so I'm just gonna clean it off a little bit here and put it back together test a very small load to see if it will drain I hope I can remember where that goes doesn't work I'll have to do all this again to I guess I'm gonna put these back on first I'll have to do all this again when you pump on that is tight comments where people found money and all kinds of stuff. Oh, all I found was a Victoria's Secret bra wire. Feel a little cheated. Oh, it 
this seems like it needs to go on more. Now I'm just going to going to. It's got that notches on it. And then it's just a little bit wider. <sighs> I gotta get in there. Just a woman in a cave. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to get back in. washing machine. Hot water, even. You know, I'm asking it for cold. It's pretty warm outside there. Let's see if this thing will spin. together and it's working at least. I don't know if the water's going to drain out or not, but I may have a mess when I stop filming, right? Underneath or behind. It's really fixed. I'm gonna wash a small load of clothes and see. I don't think it fixed my problem because it's still leaking like underneath now a lot. And it's not really draining that much from here, only just a little bit, but it's still leaking a pretty good bit underneath the washing machine. I 
I even leveled it. Like always. So there's something else going on in there. It did spin the water out of the the washing machine, but I don't know why it's having water come out from underneath. So I've got to eat dinner. I'll check back with it. So I didn't fix it because it has all this water underneath the washing machine now. So part of it's draining, but part of it's not being pumped out of the machine. So it didn't work.